Under my plan, nobody earning less than $400,000 will pay an additional penny. I hope you're all able to make $400,000. I never did. My grandfather would tell me when I walked out the door in North Scranton, North, 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 Scranton, and North Washington Avenue in Scranton. I have nothing, to, I have not once talked to anyone in my administration about Trump's legal problems. I was in the motel, after the local motel, getting changed after the afternoon session, go back to the evening session. And they said, I'm standing in a towel and shaving cream on my face. During the whole time, I've been able to cut the federal deficit at the same exact time to over $1 trillion. Don't jump. Are you ready to choose freedom over democracy? Because that's America. Yes. <laughs> and I made it clear to Israelis, don't move on Haifa. It's just not, I mean, it, anyway, I, I just. So we've cut the budget by a lot of money, $172 billion so far. Middle class didn't build, build America, and you guys built the middle class. Ambrose Finnegan, we called him Uncle Bozy. He, uh, he was shot down. He was an Army Air Corps before there was an Air Force. He flew single-engine planes, reconnaissance flights over New Guinea. He had volunteered because someone couldn't make it. He got shot down in an area where there were a lot of uh, cannibals in New Guinea at the time. Back in when D-Day occurred, and on Sunday, the next day, and my Uncle, they called him Ambrose, they called him, call him Bozy. My Uncle Bozy was a hell of an athlete. They tell me when he was a kid. He got shot down in New Guinea. And uh, they never found the body because there used to be, there were a lot of cannibals for real in that part of New Guinea. Okay, I'll see you. And I'll I'm going to go order it. If you knock anybody who knows anything about polling, it's awful hard to poll these days. Because, no, I'm serious. My mom didn't live in, in Scranton since she was 1954.